silver now we are based on daily chart we want to an analyze the chart for this week okay first things we want to see whether this correction can give us a up move or the price from here can drop then we want to see the option the possibility we can have the first thing is if we consider this correction together that means this one full become a correction in relative to this in this case we can expect the price to drop if the price drop whether this one continue can continue come to this low or drop and reverse okay the other option is that this is the only move in relative to this that means this is the start of the up move okay if I move to forward chart as we just just now we mentioned that if we can put this correction in relief to each other that means this one will become a fully correction relative to this in this case we can expect one more drop if one more drop the price come here we need to see shall we look for the up move or the continuation if the continuation that means this is the only correction in relative to this move which is the one okay move correction and this is the last move if not the price reverse in that case uh, we will have more comp I mean car uh, the correction become more complex that time we will have one two that's mean the price drop then we can look for the up move the another one is as is just now I mentioned based on the daily chart this is the only one correction in relative to this that's mean we need we don't need the price to drop to this level that's mean the, this is the start of the up move okay that's why we need to know which one will be whether the price drop or reverse but from what we have here the indicators doesn't show me any that mean doesn't give us any information in relative to this that this is the only correction but we cannot rely on that 100% okay in that case we want to see how we can trade it because we are more interested if this is similar to what we have here that's mean if we get a down move and if we get a down move as long as the price came to this level we need to manage it but we need to see how this one can correct okay as we can see now the price based on the lower time frame I will show we get the correction here and if this is the start of the up move if we look for buy then it's still with I mean the buy is within this correction we need to know the first target will be this high the second target will be above this and the last will be above this okay when we talk about the first target that's mean if we get the buy setup there is a possibility because we are not sure how long the price will be here if we look if we we want to get a down move there is a possibility the price come to this level then drop okay in this case we want to how we can trade it all right as we can see here we are looking to into this correction if we want to whether look for buy or sell but what we have here this two sharp move may give us a bit trouble first I will talk about the sell if we draw a line here we won't sell within this range let the price drop correction then we can look for the sell the correction is similar to flat we have here but how about if the price start to drop like this corrective we are not going to sell it okay then but that's why I want to say that we shouldn't sell within this range because there is a possibility the price drop a bit then reverse okay then in that case if we want to look for buy we need to see how this correction form and what we wanted the price come to the, this low at least break this low I will show later on based on the lower time frame then we look for the up move whether we can get the buy within this range or we should have entry above this all right if you talk about the if I draw back the line okay in this case we move to lower time frame okay 
all right just now we're talking about the buy let the as we can see still the price haven't break this low if the price come and break this low I mean this low then any up move we can if we look for buy the first things we want to see whether we can get the entry any buy setup within this if not we put we can have entry above this but having entry we're looking for the uh, sharp move up may I give you example here we had a correction if anyone has an entry above this they get the sharp move but when you see this the cor this correction at least for three, two to five hours is not moving we take out the trade this is how we can trade for the entry if we, we want to get the entry here we need to uh, trade based on a lower time frame maybe 15 minutes okay and the sell is let the price drop break this give a correction then we look for sell and any buy as long as the price come to this level price come to this level we need to manage it because the possibility the price come here drop is there okay in this case if you want to look for buy we need to wait and get a correction here and the sell sharply correction then look for down that's me right now both of them the buy and the up move is there I mean the we have both option whether for buy or sell we don't have the confirmation we need to wait and if the price keep correcting here then is really good for the up move but how about if the price is slowly sorry how about the price okay where is that how about if the price is slowly to drop like this we are not going to sell then we need to see whether we can look for buy or not that's mean if the is, is drop in terms of the corrective structure so we don't sell it okay the sell should be break out of the trend line sharp correction next one anyway we don't have any trade setup we want to see how this correction can form then if we see any update then uh, I will share in the group thanks